Ho, 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 and a Merry Christmas to you. Welcome back to the channel. Tis the season to celebrate or over-celebrate. There are a few things to keep in mind this holiday season, so let's talk about it for a minute. When you overindulge during the holidays, you not only gain weight, you can also overtax your digestive system as well as lose sleep and develop heartburn. As we get together with friends and family, we tend to grub all day on sweet things, tasty appetizers, big meals, and enjoy festive cocktails. Then there's the company party, the holiday friends night out, and a New Year's Day football game. You know that includes wings and things, right? Let's face it, tis the season to eat like a pig. The average American gains between 1 and 10 pounds between Thanksgiving and Christmas, depending on which study you want to believe. Not that big of a deal, right? Well, actually it is. Considering that somewhere around 38% of the people in the United States are obese and 33% are overweight. And we gain and keep an average of between one and two pounds every year. Hey, we're fat. And even one additional pound spells trouble in the long run. Diabetes and heart disease being at the top. The more you eat, the more acid you produce. And some of it can even make its way up the esophagus, resulting in heartburn. Big meals slow your digestion and food spends more time being processed. That causes the gassy, bloated feeling you often have after a big meal. Thus comes the fart. As your body calls all hands on deck to digest the load you've just eaten, it sends more blood to your gastrointestinal tract. That means less blood is available to transport oxygen and nutrients to other parts of your body, leaving you sluggish and lightheaded. Peaking out also causes your blood sugar to spike. When blood sugar rises above normal levels, you release excess amounts of the hormone insulin and you get an energy spike. The initial boost may spurt you on to a quick mowing of the yard, but it's actually usually followed by a big crash. Your body thinks you don't need all that energy as fuel and it starts storing more of it as fat. Now, add alcohol to the equation and you'll probably toss and turn all night. When you wake up in the morning, you're starving because your pancreas has been working overtime to process all that food and drink. Hangover alert. So even if you only gain a pound or two from holiday indulgent, who needs that extra pound or food and drink hangover? What can you do? Because you know you'll get that craving. Just say no is a common strategy, but it's not that easy and I know this because simply limiting or restricting what we eat doesn't work because it makes us feel deprived, anxious, and just crazy. The solution is to pay attention to what you put on your plate. Be aware of the high number of calories in alcohol. Sit down to eat. Try not to graze while you are preparing food. If you do overeat, don't beat yourself up. Just take a deep breath, move on, and plan to make better choices moving forward. You can fix some of the problem with exercise. Try to keep up your normal routine as possible. When you head downtown or to the mall to shop, park your car away from the stores. Wear comfortable shoes and walk briskly from shop to shop. After a big meal, go for a neighborhood stroll. Get the family involved with a game of touch football or something. Forget about fasting. Many of us believe if we conserve calories all day, we can overindulge in a holiday meal. Trouble is, that causes your metabolism to think you're going into starvation mode, so it holds on to as many calories as possible. A better plan is a low-fat diet, protein-rich breakfast, a light lunch, and a moderate holiday meal. Listen to your body. Start taking small portions and mindfully enjoying what's on your plate. Skip seconds and leave room for a reasonably sized piece of pie. Now about that drinky drink drink. Just think before you drink. One beer can pack 175 calories, a glass of wine weighs in at 160, and that favorite eggnog tops out about 223. You don't have to be a party pooper during the holidays. Just sip lightly, slowly, and choose lower calorie drinks. And get some sleep. Getting enough rest is key to your overall health, wellness, and your ability to maintain a healthy weight. Slow down, breathe deep, and stop stressing over every gift, card, and party. I don't think some even appreciate all your efforts anyway. Number one, take care of yourself this holiday season. Enjoy it. You want to be around to see another one. Now, thanks for watching and check me out in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that stuff. This is Video Knife. Thank you, guys. Tally ho.